Leo. This is a peek at your partner for the week of June the 26th through July the 2nd, 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Leo for June the 26th through July the 2nd, 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Leo for June the 26th through July the 2nd, 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Leo for June the 26th through July the 2nd, 2022. Show me. <clears throat> you guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Leo. Leo, this is a peek at your partner. So, Leo. Your partner has the tower. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your partner has justice. Your partner has death. Your partner has majors. Your partner has the eight of swords. And your partner has the knight of wands. So, Leo, your partner has the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that your partner doesn't see coming. Something that catches them completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock and awe moment. A moment of revelation. Now, this can be a shocking shakeup or breakup. So, listen, Leo. Very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation. Something being revealed or breakup. Clarify the tower for Leo's partner. Clarify the tower for Leo's partner. Clarify the tower for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So listen, Leo could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. But also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Leo's partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Leo's partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So listen, Leo, your partner could tell me that you guys have this soulmate connection, but it could have been some type of shocking revelation or a breakup, some type of cutting off of this connection here. This can also be some type of agreement, okay? Maybe some type of legal documentation or paperwork. And this is something being blown up here with this legal documentation, paperwork, or an agreement. Leo, your partner has justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or your partner saying someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or your partner's dealing with something in the justice system. So listen, Leo, could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner could tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. Your partner could tell me that they want to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation, or they're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Leo's partner. Clarify justice for Leo's partner. Clarify justice for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. 
This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your partner's luck and fortune. Well, this wheel can spin and they can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for your partner. So Leo, listen, your partner could tell me that everything between you guys has changed. Your partner could tell me it's an actual change in their luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Leo's partner. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Leo's partner. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another. Snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Leo, listen, your partner could tell me it's a lot of tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on here. Some form of mind games manipulation. However, your partner could tell me that they're pissed and they have an axe to grind here. So listen, is it that everything between you guys has changed because you guys had this back and forth going on here? Okay, maybe some type of breakup. <clears throat> but is it that your partner is like suited for battle? There's some type of battle going on with legal documentation or paperwork, some type of agreement. When it's a change in their luck and fortune, something that has happened in a, in a justice system here. Hmm. Is it something that your partner wants to take to the justice system? Because they're pissed. Leo, listen, your partner has death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So, Leo, could be dealing with a Scorpio, but your partner could tell me that something is ending. Something could be starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Leo's partner. Clarify death. For Leo's partner. Clarify death for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So, either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Leo, listen, your partner could tell me, hey, you know, they want to physically move, travel. Mm -hmm. Your partner could tell me, hey, we let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now, yes, we can get to a place where your partner is saying, let's put it behind us and start new after ending, letting bygones be bygones, yeah. But for right now, it just seems like they want to end things and move out, move on, and move away from whatever this situation is. Leo, your partner has the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling stuck, like they're in a self-imposed prison of their thoughts. This is your partner feeling like they can't move, but they can move because it's all mental. This is them refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is your partner feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So, Leo, listen, your partner's telling me they're feeling stuck in a situation here or they're blocking. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Leo's partner. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Leo's partner. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into your partner. And this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or a commitment may be coming into your partner here, but maybe they're stuck or they're just blocking or blocking it out. Hmm. 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 
Leo, your partner has the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo or Sag. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Leo, listen, your partner could tell me there's a rush to do something. Your partner could tell me it's a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also your partner spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is your partner doing their due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Leo, listen, your partner can tell me what's inside of immature premature communication yes or they went looking and spying clarify the page of swords for leo's partner clarify the page of swords for leo's partner clarify the page of swords for leo's partner it is clarified with the three of swords gemini libra aquarius this is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing your partner heartbreak. So listen, Leo, <clears throat> your partner very well may be hurt. Their feelings may be hurt here. Could be some type of argument, some type of battle going on, heated discussion or arguments over some type of agreement here. And your partner's at a place where they just want to end it. They just want to put it behind them. They just want to put it to rest. It seems like someone is maybe wanting to make some type of payment or something and your partner's saying, no, I don't want to accept this payment and I'm blocking it out. Or no, I don't want payment. I want you in jail. However, Leo, we're dealing with relationships here. Your partner's telling me that, you know, yes, we could have had this rushing and going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument, but it's all over your partner going spying and finding out that you were out being a player, causing them heartbreak. There's a third party here. So your partner's saying it's a shocking revelation. Something is being revealed here that there is a cutting off here. And they may even take it to the justice system, okay? And they may have an offer of something coming into them, dinner and a movie, whatever, whatever, but maybe they're stuck right now because it seems like they're hell-bent on maybe getting justice for this. Whether this is vigilante justice or in the justice system. Leo, this is a peek at your partner for the week of June the 26th through July the 2nd, 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like comment and share and i'll see you guys next week peace